just in case like we say something brilliant later we're like oh that was a good call we should have recorded that you have no idea how many times that's happened we're like we don't record the call and then we're like crap we totally should have um so at this point in the game you guys um you've had a bunch of things already thrown at you in this group the, the first couple posts have um some assignments and you know some training for you already and i don't want you to get bogged down in like oh my god there's so much and i'm behind but i do want you to look at what the assignments are and make sure that i'm gonna just mute everybody because i don't know if loud, but... all right i'm gonna unmute you meg but mute everybody else okay cool better guys cool so um what i want you to do though is like when you approach this group like just I want you to at least set a time for yourself to come in to look at the post and to see what the assignment is and to do it. And if it's not perfect, it's not perfect, but at least you're taking action and moving forward. Um, we have a great training in there for you on how to create like a story that was all done within like 20 minutes, you guys. So like from start to end, like me training on the story, like that's how long it took. Now, if you're doing it on your own and you've already, you know, saved those things and you're not telling somebody else what to do, it's going to be a lot quicker because you're not showing like examples and stuff. So you literally just, I want everybody to get a story up this week that is inviting somebody to their challenge group, um, that is showcasing our challenge group. Georgie, what are you doing? <laughs> this is George right now because he wants to go under the table over there, but the Ottoman's in the way. And so he's trying to figure out how he can squish between. And he's like, I don't get this. Bubba, I'm sorry. I'll move it. Let me move it or come here. Um, the other thing is that um, I know that we had you draw out like your diamonds your diamond business and the reason we have you do that is because the things that you focus on grow right and i want you to see how easy it really is like you're just going emerald like four times and then you're having two other people do something that you just did four times you can totally turn around and teach somebody how to do that once but in order to attract those people and attract those builders into your business you have to be posting consistently and you have to post um an invite to your group to your challenge groups to your you know your business every single day and the best way to do it right now is on Instagram. So I wanted to make sure that you guys really paid attention to that post and that you're out there and you're doing that. And I know that it might seem scary to some, I know some of you are used to Facebook. I will tell you like I've had an Instagram account for years and I just didn't really use it. I would post like pictures every once in a while, but I wasn't really using it in terms of like building my audience for this business or inviting people. But the second I started to focus on that, my audience there started to really grow. And I get messages all the time from people that are like, hey, oh my God, you look so amazing. Like I want in. Or, oh my God, I just saw that girl that you just posted in your story. And that's awesome. Like that sounds just like me. I want in. Or they'll just say yes on a poll and I can reach directly out to them. And it's saving me time and it's really helping with like attraction style marketing rather than like constantly having to be going out there starting new conversations, which I still do on Facebook because I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to build my business. But I'm saying if you're not using Instagram right now, like you are missing the boat. Anything you want to add, Meg? Yeah, so basically like the first on sunday night the, your assignment <clears throat> sorry my throat's kind of funky um the first assignment was two posts that are inviting to a challenge group one post that's inviting to coaching or sharing something about coaching so again like on instagram be doing that almost on a daily basis like sprinkling in challenge groups sprinkling in coaching because like joan said like you're creating that vision right you're you're looking at your graph and saying, all right, like I want to go diamond. So in order for you to go diamond, like you need to show that coaching is an option for people because otherwise it's just challenge group. So, you know, showing like the bigger picture of why you got involved. Are you insta storying us <laughs> as we're having a call? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, you can get, 
really creative with Instagram stories and it can be really fun in just, um, you don't have to overthink it. I think that's the one thing with Facebook, you're trying to share deeper on your story and relating to people where Instagram, you're just like living your life and just sprinkling here and there, like 15 seconds along what you're doing on a day to day basis. So yeah, definitely don't miss the boat on that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so what questions do you guys have for us so far? Nothing. Hi, it's Kelly. <clears throat> yeah. Hi. Hey, Hi, so in, um, you know, when we're putting up our posts or, you know, if we're, you know, not getting it up just, you know, by the time you guys have said, Hey, you know, get it out there but we still post it. And do you want us just to wait until someone has like reviewed it and said, Hey, you know, this is what I would do or, you know, just go ahead and, you know, get it posted or, you know, like, you know, as of like today, you know, we want something to post, you know, tonight. And I was just seeing that kind of late, you know, and I want to make sure I get it up, you know, during the time you guys think is, you know, the best time to get it posted. But, you know, I want someone to have time to, you know, take a peek at it before I do that as well. So, you know, I guess I wonder, you know, kind of where to, you know, where to go from there. Well, I mean, if you're getting us a post to look at that you're not planning on posting till the following night, I think that that works really well. Um, you know, part of the reason that we have you guys in here is to help you with like your posts and to help you so that they're, you know, we can help you tweak them. We can help you see different things about them. Like, Hey, maybe you need to dig a little bit deeper within this. This is very surface mm -hmm. or this is very cold, or I may reword this this way. Hey, if you read that out loud, does that sound salesy to you? Like those types of things we can definitely give you feedback on or mm -hmm. like, Hey, I'm going to put this up with this picture. And we all like that picture doesn't go or that picture, like, you know, is dark and blurry and like not going to stand out in the newsfeed or on IG. Like, those sorts of things we can definitely give you feedback on. Mm -hmm. You have to keep in mind, this isn't like a race, right? Like this isn't like, I have to post this right now. This is something where it's like, no, this is just something that you do every single day. Do you have to mm -hmm. ask about every post every single day? No, but if you know, if you want to get better at it or you're curious about it, then yeah, post them in there. And we'll give you feedback and then you can just put it up at the next best time to put that particular post up. Yeah. Kelly, you, you're probably talking about the Transformation Tuesday thing that I posted today. Right. So think of that as, okay, every Tuesday, yes. I want to share somebody from the challenge group, somebody on our team, somebody, like how can every Tuesday, like you'd be putting a, a post out there that is highlighting somebody else because you're already doing your thing like every day. Right. So that was really an exercise that every week, you know, if right. you, if you come up with like an example, you know, sometime this week for a transformation Tuesday for next week, like throw it in that thread for us and tag us for us to review it. But that's definitely not meant to be like a race. But can I, can I interrupt for a second too? Yeah. Also, I mean, if we're talking about like Instagram stories, you guys, like, okay, so maybe for like a post for social, it might take you a minute to go like grab somebody's photo and like put something up that you feel is like actually like a post that's like pretty well put together. But for instance, like Instagram stories, like, you know, if I wanted to right now, you can see, I could literally film myself and I could just say like, I love it when I have, I told you so moments. And I'm going to tell you that you know, um, I've been telling you that people in my group have been eating more and with eating more, they see better results. And then I literally can press that and enter it. And then the next thing I could do is I could come over here and I can grab this little screenshot from a group chat that I had earlier that says move to see in the way it's moving. Like, I guess you guys told me so. And I can hit that. There you go. You have a transformation Tuesday story and it took you less than 30 seconds to do because the video cuts you off at 15 seconds and then it's just a screenshot. So like, that's another thing is like not overthinking these things mm -hmm. and preparing yourself. So you guys are all in a challenge group. You guys all have access to the before and after photos that people are sharing. You have access to take a screenshot when somebody posts like, something that's a non-scale victory. You can take a literally like a screenshot of that. 
if somebody has messaged you from either a post you've done on Facebook or an Instagram story or a post that you've done on um, Instagram, then you can literally like snapshot that message. You can block out their names real quick and you can say, oh my God, like this person's joining me. It's about building kind of like that social proof throughout. So you just have to start thinking that way and just start saving these things so that you're like, I haven't put anything up on Instagram stories today, but I have all these saved before and afters in my phone. So now I'm going to quickly go, dudes, have I shared with you the results that's happening in my group over here? Bam, 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 bam. Anyone else want in? There's your poll. Literally, mm -hmm. it takes minutes to do. Mm -hmm. it's not, this is not something that takes forever. And the out, like the, the value of it is huge. And like what you receive in return is, is crazy. So, um, so that's something you can be doing, doing too. I think just like not overthinking things like being authentic means literally just like being authentic, like sharing your journey, sharing what's happening, sharing what you're doing, sharing what you're seeing every single day through mm -hmm. social. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else questions? Joan can be on her soapbox for another like five minutes. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. So I've been like trying to do more Instagram and posting and stories and all that. I, I don't know how to find like, fo like followers. So Were you like, on when I go through and I try to like search, huh? Were you on the team call last night? Yeah. Um, Monica said how she follows people is that she like picks out brands and, and personalities and people like that, that she likes, and then she'll go follow other people who are following that brand or that or that whatever, because chances are they're going to be a lot like you if they like the same things you do. Right. So that's okay. one way that you can do it. The other way you can do it is you can type in a hashtag into the explore area and see who pops up to that hashtag. So like if you were to do that and you were like, Oh, like none of these people are my jam, then that's probably not a hashtag you should be using. But if you used a hashtag and then all of a sudden all these people pop up, but they're posting things and you're like, Oh my God, she's totally like me. Mom of like, you know, six and loves gymnastics. Like, you know what I mean? Like right. literally find people that way too. And just start following the ones that you would be friends with or that you would like. Um, so that's one way to do it. And then because you're using these hashtags where you're finding other people that are like you, now, you know, okay, this is also a good hashtag I should probably start using in my posts because it's attracting the type of people that I am. So then you use those hashtags in your posts. You can use them in your Insta stories too. You guys can literally go to the text feature. I do this all the time in my Instagram stories and I literally put in like 30 hashtags. You can't see them because I make them the same color as the image that I'm putting them on. So then I've got 30 hashtags on my story and I'm going to pop up and explore for somebody to find me. I also always use hashtags in my actual text of my post on Instagram. And I use hashtags in the comment section of my Instagram too. I've been growing my Instagram following by like 150 to 200 people a month for the last like three months consecutively doing that. Well, cause that's my like goal is to, you know, do hundred to 200. I just feel like, no, like I put in my hashtags and I just, all that keeps showing up to me is other moms that are posting fitness pics or that are doing the same thing I am and that's where I'm like I just like all the people I've got on there that are looking at my stuff are already coaches or already have some fit keto or some fitness something and I'm not because I have not had one person message me and say oh my gosh I wow I you know what do you do or um, anything like I that I just got thing that I would mention is did you listen to Bonnie's call the other day too her national wake-up yep. call yeah, so she was saying same thing was happening to her. She was attracting all of these like body coaches and things like that into her business. And it wasn't until she started putting hashtags of people that she wanted to attract that she started. So it's not just like putting up like hashtag 80 day obsession, hashtag fit mom, hashtag, um, you know, like moms who lift, hashtag, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm not. Instead, you want to maybe put like, Hashtag gymnastics mom. Hashtag mom. That's what I've got. Hashtag wherever you live. Hash like um you know like Nebraska girl or whatever you want to put. Hashtag like the things that make you you or that you like, but also that like but for those people that you want to attract out there that are like you, but maybe aren't like fitness experts. Right. Well, can we do like a thread in the group where we put our hashtags? Because I know the hashtags I'm using are ones that Meg gave me. 
because I the ones I were, was using were not good. But it's like gymnastics and you know, mom of six. I'm trying. I can't remember what they all are, but um, and so I feel. I mean, I'm not using 80 day obsession or coach or anything about really food or weight loss or anything. Maybe like pre pregnancy or something like that. But that's where I'm struggling because I just feel like I'm like posting to nobody. Um, on Instagram, because I'm not getting a lot of feedback. I feel like I get the same 25 people that like my story every day and stuff like that. And I just like feel like if I could figure out how to get out beyond that type of person, that um, it would obviously work a lot better and actually do something. Do you post consistently to Instagram? Like, do you put three, mm-hmm. at least three picture posts up a day and then like at least five to 12 story things? Yeah, I'm. I'm doing probably two to three picture posts a day. Um, and then um, story, usually somewhere between five to 12. Yeah, I'd say is in there. Depends on the time of day, of course, because some of them will all fall off and then I've got nothing in there. Um, and I've been like really working it. Huh? The other thing I would recommend is going and learning how to hashtag. I have a video on that that I did for okay. the team and it's also under uh, my YouTube page. And it literally is a, a, an entire video I show how to hashtag and how to find hashtags um, that you'll attract your team. Okay, also, I watched it. I, yeah. I wouldn't use the same hashtags all the time. I would change it up. Like if you're using the same grouping of hashtags constantly, <laughs> then it's not a shock to me that you have the same 20 people liking your posts. And Well, they're like all people that I know personally are the people that are like in my... That's right, because it's like, you talk about, like, reaching out to people like your story. It's, like, already, it's my friends from town and my, you know, it's not anybody ever that I don't know. Are you already. positive your thing is set to public? <laughs> yeah, right, Ryan. Actually, I did do that once on Facebook. I was like, what the heck? Nobody's liking my post. And I had, my kids had messed with my public. <laughs> and I always remember Ryan's story about that. But I'm, it, yeah, I'm sure it is. For those of you who don't know. Because I can't do followers. For those of you who don't know, Ryan looked at me one day and he was like, why the fuck does nobody like my stuff? And I was like, I don't know. And I went to go look at it and I like couldn't see anything. And I was like, probably because you have it set to private, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> so. Or like only me. I did that once. I was yeah, tired. I wanted to see what something would look like. On Facebook. Yeah. And then after you do that, it doesn't go back. You have to change it back. And for like two days, I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then I, was, I posted to myself for like two days. Yeah, yeah. But so you, I don't know. I feel like that's been my and Meg will attest that my biggest problem I have is I just feel like nobody's paying attention. And I know you're gonna um, the mindset part of it, and I just like trying to go through all that. But I just feel like I'm speaking to nobody so often, and that just gets because um, I put a lot of work into my posts, and not all of them, but like my. Um, uh, like my challenge groups ones and things like that. And it just, I don't know how to reach people. I guess. So. Can I but say I'll, something? Yeah. Um, sorry. I don't know why my video won't work, but um, what I found for me, cause I kind of felt the same way like a month or so ago. And it, so what I started doing, it's kind of like it, just playing with the algorithm is you have to go and like, like other people's, uh, posts on Instagram as well and also comment on theirs and looking at their stories will also help get you in their feeds as well. So like if you're just doing a post and then waiting for somebody to come and look at it, it's not going to get you action in other people's news feeds. Um, So it's very similar to Facebook on that aspect too, is you have to be interactive as well. And not just liking, but also commenting on other people's posts as well on Instagram. Because yeah, isn't it like a comment of like at least five words or something is what? Um, I don't know that much. Yeah. <laughs> I just know that okay. you, know, you have to kind of create that relationship for Instagram to, you know, if you're not using what Instagram has to offer, they're not going to share your stuff as well. So like if you're not using right. Insta stories and hashtags and liking and commenting on other people's stuff, then Instagram isn't going to share you. Mm -hmm. yeah just like monica said last night too like 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 comment like 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 comment so yeah like the three to one yeah three to one rule yeah i think that's a great point um you know every every like morning when i wake up i kind of scroll through and like a bunch of stuff 
And then like, if I'm sitting around doing nothing, I'll, I'll do the same thing. And typically before I go to bed, I end up just like scrolling through and liking stuff as well. And like liking stories and that sort of thing, not liking stories, but watching stories and that sort of thing. Um, just like with Facebook, really important to do that. But I think that the bigger thing is um, really making sure that you're like not getting stuck in just posting like the same 20 hashtags that you've used that are clearly not working for you. Mm -hmm. um, anyone else? Other questions? So I do have a question. Yeah. Um, I can't see your face. I, I know. know it's driving me crazy. I tried it doing it last night on the team call too. I don't, I have like a blank screen at the bottom where my video is supposed to be. That's weird. Um, so like when you do Insta stories and like you're inviting to challenge groups and coaching, yeah. do you like, do you want a day? Do you like space them out a certain amount of time? Or am I like overthinking that part? You're overthinking it, but here, like, cause honestly, I'll just tell you, and I think that this started for me during the time that I was working really closely with Andrea and her and I were like talking about like the upcoming Snoop group and running those and things like that. Um, I literally just started using my Insta stories. Like if I had a thought, I throw it up there. Like, I don't think about it too much. Like if I'm eating my breakfast, sure. See my breakfast. Like, look, here's me snuggling George. Like now I'm going to start my workout. I'm just drank energized. Here's my workout. I just finished my workout. Now I'm like looking through my challenge group. I'm going to tell you that I'm taking time to work my business and look through my challenge groups. Like, Oh my God, here's what I just learned by looking at my challenge group. This person got this down scale of victory and this person got this before and after and like, Holy crap, why haven't you joined our challenge group yet? And then as the day progresses, maybe I'm doing, you know, errands or hanging out with a friend or like, you know, tried a new seltzer flavor or whatever it might be. I'm sharing all of that. But that doesn't mean that like, if I all of a sudden get a message from one of my coaches that says like, oh, I just, you know, earned this much money or something like that I have to wait, I would throw it up right away and be like, oh my God, I just got this message from my coach. Like it literally is just like sharing all the time, but in a way that, that highlights all of that goodness. Like, everything about your coaching business and everything about your, your, your workouts and, and all of that all the time. Like I just took a picture of us being on this call. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, and, and like I, like earlier today, so earlier today I just did like my workout, but like, you know, I, and I, but I've taken screenshots throughout the day of different things that have happened. Like, you know, Katie had said to, to Ryan and I, PS, day two of plan C, and I finally lost a pound and broke 150. Guess you guys might be right. So, like, I'm going to put that up, right? Like, and then I got another message from a girl that said, you know, so that's about, that's like about like my fitness or like coaching other people. And then I got another one from sharing my videos today that said, okay, you look insanely awesome. I need to do this. What the fuck am I, am I waiting for? I'm obsessed with watching the food everyone's eating an 80 day obsession. So I'll put a post up. That's like another one's ready to join us. You know what I mean? Like you're just constantly building social proof and trust based on your results, others results, coaching, what you're doing for coaching, how you're getting joy in that, how other people are having success in coaching. Like don't prejudge any of it. Share it all. Listen, if somebody doesn't want to see it, they're going to scroll right past your thing, right? But mm -hmm. but if they do want to see it, or if they are the person who's sitting on the brink, like just waiting and seeing, and they see something, it's going to be that sign that they need. So I, I always run with the theory of like, those who aren't my tribe are just going to like boot out and not follow me. And that's completely okay. But those that are meant for me will not miss me. And so I'm just going to share everything I possibly can and let that like light show so that everybody who potentially could think about doing this knows what's going on and could, and could possibly join me. Okay, perfect. Cause I feel like I do that. And then like, when I go back, I know I probably could do it more. Um, but I feel like when I go back and look at my uh, Insta stories, like myself, like sometimes it, they like have a nice flow to them. And then sometimes they're like super choppy and all over the place. So I just wasn't sure, like, does it matter or should I just kind of keep rolling with it? It really doesn't matter because like, it's honestly like the best thing I can, can compare it to is it's like a reality TV show. Like people are always like so freaking interested in what other people are doing, right? Like they're yeah. 
it's beyond. Um, and like, you know, here's the other thing too. And Rachel, this kind of goes back to you is like, there's some people who are sitting around and like, you feel like you're not talking to anybody and you're getting crickets, but they are literally listening and watching. And they're just like loitering and like lurking and like watching you from afar. Um, you know, and you can't help yourself. It's like, you know, you, if you see somebody who posts often on Instagram stories and they're posting like, that they're at dinner with friends or that they went bowling or even like your post the other day about the grocery store. I don't know why I sat around Dominique and watched the fact that people waited for seven minutes in the grocery store, but I literally <laughs> sat there and watched your thing. Cause I was like, wait, what's talking about the grocery store? Wait, what happened next? What about this? Like, what? Like there was nothing to it. Like it was probably a complete waste of my time, but I watched it because like for some reason people are like interested in other people, even if they're just doing daily do's of life. So I don't okay. think it matters if it's choppy. I don't think it matters if it's perfectly curated. What I think matters is that you take action and you put stuff out there. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Do you guys want to sit here silent until somebody starts talking again? That was like um, in communications, like I was a communications major in, in college and I remember in like the interviewing class, they were like, if you sit there silently for over a minute, like the other person feels like compelled to talk. So if you just sit there, the other person's probably going to talk. Look at Renato wants to talk now. <laughs> I'm going to ask if you can actually sit there and not talk for a minute. <laughs> that is the challenge. But, but it still compelled you to talk. <laughs> I I missed like the first eight minutes of the call, but did you get that video to work that you posted about the, Instagram stories? Hmm? The video about Instagram stories? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so the the option, like how I do those, you guys, is I have to plug my phone into my computer and use um use whatever it is, that quick video thing or whatever, quick time. And it will record my phone and it's supposed to record my voice. However, I clicked record phone. And so it only was recording things that the phone was playing and not my voice actually explaining things. So in order to get my voice on there, I'm either going to have to completely redo it or I will have to pull it up and see if I can use a different program to voice over it. But even without my voice, like you can totally tell what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. I just showed kind of an example of Kelsey and like what she's been doing lately, which has been working really well. And then I kind of walked you through exactly how I put one of my story invites together. Um, and even though you can't hear my voice, like if you look at it, you'll notice that like, for instance, um, on the post that comes up of, of Dominique, it says, started eating more, started getting better results. Like the reason they did that is because so many people think that they have to like cut calories and do cardio for hours in order to lose weight and get where they want. And I was showing those people that that's not the case. I put up a post of um, Katie's before and afters and you can see on that one, I said scale's not moving, but she's still seeing results. And then on it said, you know, scale isn't everything. Again, that's, that's like, it's combating those little things that people think. Another one was putting up a picture of Sheila. She's 50 something years old. So that was like, get rid of the age excuse. I threw up one of Kelsey and then said mom of three. So I, that's kind of what I was explaining to you guys through the video. And then I was just kind of going over the tools and how I could block things out to like make it so you can view things and then showing you like the polling tool. So really like you can go back and you can watch it. And I know it's super boring because there's no sound because I'm not talking, but like that is exactly what I did. It's just went through and showed you and how I save like images on my phone um, to use. And then there's even one part you guys will hear like that, like it's taking a picture because I was sharing with you that if I go and I try to post my before and after photos that are in my photo album of my phone, it's gonna make it so the screen is like too close. And so you can't see fully from like head to toe um, on each side, you can only see like half my body. And so what I'll do is, I just showed you the trick is, I open up the picture, I screenshot it, and then I put it to Insta Stories and I just use the tool to like brush out the top and bottom to make it cleaner so that you can see the full picture. So there's a thing, there's a few things like that. But um, I posted that other, 
that other video in there too that's kind of like tips and tools so that goes over some of like the training that I did in there but like more so just seeing that flow of of storyline was was really what I wanted you guys to do I'll try to go in and edit just so it's a little less boring and a little more you know whatever but um but you can still get it just from watching that okay that's all right do you use in do you use the Insta stories way more than you use a regular Instagram page? I do. I post to Instagram maybe mm -hmm. two to three times a day. I post to Insta stories all throughout my day. And honestly, it's made my business a lot more fun, you guys. Like you can use different like you know, different filters, you can boomerang, you can use like the super zoom, you can draw things on your pictures, you can add giphies, you can add, you know hashtags you can do all that stuff but you can also just be like creative like um for instance if you feel like every post of yours is like you looking at the thing and like talking to the camera instead start talking to the camera and show your feet like while you're walking into the kitchen right like or show yourself stirring something or like you can just you can use it in such different ways than you can do other social media and because it is sort of like that glimpse that i was talking about into your life where it's kind of like you're you know, your little own mini reality TV, like you're not having to come up with like, oh, I have to write out this post right now that's going to like draw people in and then like have them take action. Instead, it's like, dudes, look at these freaking pictures from people in my challenge group. And then it's like, boom, 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 boom. There's the pictures. And then it's like, why aren't you in yet? Like want info? Yes or no. And like, they're like, all your work is done for you right there. Yeah. So I feel like it works really well just by being like, here's the proof. Like, you ready? <laughs> Courtney was asking, um, what's a good number of posts on Instagram stories? Yeah. And I mean, comments. <laughs> sometimes I'll be like, holy crap, I did a lot of Insta stories today because they're like, dee, 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 dee. yeah. Um, and you don't want to be that person that like somebody's like swipe like that's way too much about that person You know, you want some curiosity there But I would say anywhere between like 6 to, to 12 is probably good if you're doing like 30 in a day then like that might get a little old. Or maybe not you know what you can also do is you can look at your story and you can see how many people viewed it and you can see when they stop dropping, when they start dropping off. Like, oh, like I had 200 and something people looking at like these first like four stories that I did and then it dropped to 180 and then it dropped to 170 and then it dropped to 150 and then, oh, now it's at 45. So you can see that and you can judge and be like, okay, my audience seems to like it when I do like a chunk of, you know, six at a time and then move on. Also, I'll tell you that you can post a lot of stories during the day too. And, and Dominique, maybe this actually addresses your question a little bit more as well. Cause I know you were saying like, is it choppy and stuff like that? Honestly, you guys, if you're going to go on your story, like use the different functions that Instagram stories uses to keep it interesting. Right. Or like use the different camera angles or do those sorts of things that I just talked about. Because if it is just you like staring at the camera and talking and you do that for more than like three um, of the, of the, whatever you call them. What do you call them? What am I calling them? Stories. <laughs> whatever, I guess three of the like screenshots or whatever in a row, then yeah, somebody's going to get bored because it just feels like it's this big, long, same video. So actually keeping it a little bit more choppy, Dominique is actually a good thing <laughs> because it's like, Oh, here's me in my car. Here's me working out. Look, here's my dog. Here's outside. Here's food. Here's this. Like, and some of it's video and some of it's pictures and some of it, you know, like that keeps it interesting and people will probably stick around to watch more of your stories if you do it that way. I am shaking my head, but I remember that you can't see my face. <laughs> <laughs> Shake your butt. <laughs> my muddy ass instead. I got to switch to this picture. <laughs> so like when I, that was our tough mutter that was uh, that was our mount, tough mountain challenge that was terrible um Awful. so you know like one of the things I try to do and I don't always do things perfectly but you know one of the things I try to do is never share more than like three workout moves in a row without maybe putting me talking to the camera or me um you know putting like a still shot or something in between if I'm going to more than just those three moves because if somebody comes to my story and it's like oh there's joan doing push-ups oh there's joan doing sliders oh there's joan doing band work oh there's joan lifting something oh there's joan doing that again like that gets like monotonous and people are like okay i get it you're fucking working out 
right? Like, but if I do two and then I talk about my workout real quick and I show my last move and then I show, oh, I did it. And then like go on about my day and share, you know, somebody else's results or something like that. It's, it's mixing it up and people are going to stick around. Mm -hmm. And you can do all that sort of thing after your workout. Like you can tape it during your workout, save it, tape it, save it, and then put those things together after it takes, you know, a couple minutes. Yeah. So Renata, I know you can't hear my voice in that one, but I did do that in the actual video that I share. I showed how I didn't, ha I hadn't put any of my workout stuff in my story yet. I showed how I literally like saved them all as I went. So afterwards I look through because again, I don't want to post every single move. And I also don't want to take a ton of time in the middle of my workout. So I'll literally hit record and then I'll, I'll hit save and then I'm done. And then I'll hit record and I'll hit save and I'm done. And I keep doing that. So at the end, well, first of all, after the first round, I don't have to worry about recording anymore because I got the moves, right? So I can just pay attention to my workout and be done. But then afterwards, I can look and I go, oh, I like the way I looked in that one. Or yeah, that's a cool move to show or whatever. And I can put those ones up. Tammy had a question. Do you post a lot of the same on stories as you do on your Instagram page? No. I use my Instagram photo like my page for Instagram like I'll post three photos a day one of them is typically a photo of me either working out before I work out or post workout the other one's usually George or some sort of lifestyle thing and the other one's usually a quote those are the three things I post every single day and actually having kind of just like a little schedule for myself like that knowing that like oh my next post has to be a quote like just keeps me in order like have I posted something about my fitness today nope okay we're gonna go ahead and put that up and then like, again, I will share things about like coaching and that sort of thing on mine, but it's going to be more of like a Facebook post, like where I'm going to write out something and there's going to be a call to action. And I'm going to share like a good photo of either me and that person I'm talking about or me or like whatever it is. Yes. I record right from stories for those clips and I save them right there. Yeah. That's exactly what I do. Cause it's super easy. Like if you hold down the like hands free option, it'll count down to three. So it'll go three, two, one, and then start recording. So it gives you plenty of time to walk away from the camera and start your move. It will record you. It'll stop. I just continue my move. Like after it stopped, I walk over, I hit save, I go back up and I X out. So it's no longer showing on the screen. And then my next move's about to start and I hit hands free and I go back over and I start my next move. And that way they all save right to my phone and I can either add text to them later or I can put them in whatever order I want or any of that after my, after my workout. Um, I do sometimes use an app to you guys to like kind of pretty my stories up, but I will tell you that I don't often, and here's why, like you, you might go and look at somebody else's Instagram stories and be like, oh, that's so cute. They have like texts popping up while they're working out or they have this going on or like whatever. I honestly, I don't like to spend that much time doing that because it's not going to get me a coach or a customer any faster. And yeah, it might look pretty, but my goal is to help people get started on their fitness goals as soon as possible. My goal is to help somebody become a coach as soon as possible. And if I'm spending 30 minutes to an hour, like just posting something to Instagram, that does nothing for me or my day when I have to be productive and like get things done. So if you can do it and you can do it quickly and you want to, like on one or two of your things, go for it. If not, then I'm not <coughs> that big of a deal. Anything else? I was curious if, um, I know we're talking about Instagram stories, but with the new Facebook stories. Yeah. Are you posting in that too? And are you posting this? same thing and on your Instagram are you doing like the same kind of post that you can do? I ask you how many Facebook stories do you watch a day none I don't yeah. even watch it neither does the rest of the world <laughs> okay it's okay true. I mean literally I don't even know where to go find my Facebook stories because that's how much I care about them to be yeah. honest too the people that are I've seen a few people do Facebook stories and if I go to message them something funky's happening where it's making me watch their story and I'm like get out of there I don't want to see like I don't want to keep doing it. I just want to message them <laughs> right 
I don't know. It's something weird. Okay. So to yeah. answer your question, I like tried using it and I didn't. I didn't yeah. find it. To answer your question across the board, what I'm finding is that those coaches, even those veteran coaches that are surviving and doing really well with their businesses are using their personal profiles on Facebook, not a business page, because right. that way they don't have to just spend money on a shit ton of ads to be seen. And those that are using it in a way like we do, where we're sharing our lives, we're sharing our journeys, we're not sharing, we're not like posting more than three times a day and you know, that sort of thing. Um, and those that are using Instagram and Instagram. Instagram stories. That is who is rocking it right now. The people who like moved all their people over to a business page are the ones who are struggling on Facebook and nobody uses Facebook stories. Okay. Maybe it'll change one day, but right now that's the case. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so any other questions about this group before we pop off? Like, do you guys have certain things that you're hoping for, that you're hoping to see? We have a template for you, but like things can always change as we see that you guys need something. Um, and also, you know, like I said, I know Renata, you weren't on in the beginning and a couple others, I think jumped on too a little bit late, but I was just saying within this group, like, yes, there's a post every day that we're putting up. We are going to get better about having it be up first thing in the morning. So it isn't posted so late, but Within that, you guys, the, the information that we're giving you isn't like, it's not like your typical training of like, here's what the back office is and here's what success club means. And like, I'm not giving you any info that you can really go and like, just look up in the back office. We're giving you stuff that we are doing every single day daily in our business and using every single day in our business to succeed. It's how Meg got SE like 36 or something like that, 38 in, in December. It's how I got 76 points on the board in December, um, is doing the things that we are sharing with you in this group. So show up, read the one freaking post. It's one post a day. Look at what your action item is and get it done. Because I promise you guys that we're giving you information that if you do it, you will be a diamond by the end of this, if not more than that. Okay. Like if that's all it takes, belief in yourself, taking action, following the instructions and doing it on the daily. That's it. There's nothing special, but take that and run with it because I promise you that's all it takes. Good. Yeah, we're in the trash. Mommy, mommy, oh, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy. <laughs> Did you have a question, Courtney? <laughs> Do you want to type it? <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy. Question. Yeah. I'm like, oh, sorry. Um, I was curious because I just finished my like most recent book. So is there any PD that you recommend that I like? What was your most recent book? through this? Like what's a good one? What was your most recent book? I don't know what your most recent book. Uh, I did T is for Transformation on Audible. And I got the book. I just finished The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. That's a good one. Good, actually. Um, I really liked it because it was bright orange. And then I was like, oh, it's actually really good too. Weird. Um, gosh, I've read Miracle Morning, uh, Badass, Badass at Making Money. Mm -hmm. Um, I was looking at a couple in my Audible. So have you read The Slight Edge? No. Okay. That's fantastic. Have you read The Compound Effect? No, but that was in my recommendations. Um, The Power of Consistency? Mm-mm. High Performance Habits by Brendan Bouchard. I have listened to that one. 10X Rule? It's been a while. I have not done 10X Rule. Listen to, listen to Grant Cardone for 10X Rule. His accent is amazing. And okay. <laughs> um, literally, he will motivate you. Also, the other one that I really love on audio is Entrepreneur Roller Coaster. Mm-hmm. Um, That's one you can re-listen to as well. Yeah, those those oh, two on audio are probably my fave. If I was going to tell you books to read, I would say it's Slight Edge, Compound Effect, um, The Power of Consistency, The Go-Giver is awesome. I love that book. The Go-Giver is incredible. Or Go for No, which is another mm. really short, but short and easy, but really great one. Okay. I know. I just listed off a ton, but I recorded this. <laughs> so you can go back. <laughs> yes. I'm good for the year now. 
<laughs> You're welcome. And also, you can always go to our team website. There is teamprojectfearless.com. The like password for that is without fear. It's capital W one T H O U T F E A R. Um, but there's a whole personal development section there. If you don't, if you didn't get that right off the top of your head, if you go to the pin post on Team Project Fearless, it directs you right to it and gives you the password. Um, but there's a whole entire web page on personal development of things that we recommend for you guys. Rad, rad. All right, we did it. We did it in under an hour. Now it isn't even nine o'clock. Go work your businesses. <laughs> And aren't you happy I recorded the call and ended up having some good info in it? I will put it in the team page. Or not the team page, the other, this page. All right. <laughs> Bye. Meg, feel better. Thanks. Bye.